This video will guide you through the swan, the yin yoga version of the pigeon. You'll be in the pose for about five minutes, but as always, listen to your body. If you need to come out before then, please do so. To come into the swan, begin on all fours and just step a foot forward between the hands. Then walk the foot over to the opposite hand, allowing the knee to come to the floor. First thing we want to do here is to check the front knee. Make sure that this pose is accessible for you today. If you have any inner knee issues, if your hips are really tight, the stress can go here. Reduce the external rotation of the hip by bringing that front heel more underneath you. And there is a version of the swan where you can just sit right on the heel. If the knee is fine, you can flex the front foot, bring it more forward, and then center yourself. And tucking the back to wonder, slide the back knee away. Do this a couple of times until you get nice and low here. Eventually, the front hip will be on the floor. Or if it's not quite on the floor, you can rest your front buttock onto a bolster or some support where you can feel balanced. You can hang out here without tilting to one side. Once the hips feel secure and centered, then you can work on how much of a back bend you want. We'll begin here in the proud swan. So you can walk the hands in toward you. You can rest onto the knuckles. If you're more flexible, you can bring the hands beside you. And the very flexible students can bring the hands behind their back, interlacing the fingers, and allowing a nice deep back bend here. This is a very yang like version of the swan, so we won't stay here too long. Just a minute or so. We really want the hips to release down here you'll feel something on the top of the back thigh and through the outside of the front hip. If you have no neck issues, you can lengthen the neck, drop the head back, and get a nice stretch to the front of the throat. for a bit, or eventually lowering all the way down. Some people at this stage love to rest onto a bolster. Just find a place where you can relax and become stiff. And then we just hold here for time. Stay at that edge where it feels kind of juicy.
to one side, bring the back leg forward. And do the windshield wipers if you like. Just release that front hip. Or step back to downward facing dog. Choose whichever counter pose works best for you. And after a few moments, prepare for your next pose, which may be the other side of the swan. As always, when you're doing the other side, make sure you do step the other foot forward first.